Hello everybody, welcome back to 10-Man Collections, and today I thought I'd get on here and tell you guys a story behind this walker stick right here. Uh, now I probably already mentioned it a little in my uh, walker stick collection videos, but I can't remember which one it was, what part, but uh, if you guys go back and look at it then you'll see. Uh, I think it might have been part two, or... No, it might have been part three, excuse me, part three of my walking stick collection with all my hand painted sticks. I kind of mentioned about it in this one, but about this one. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you the full story. Now, see that? Oh, excuse me, hit the TV. There I go. I hate doing that, but anyway, where shall I begin? I cut the stick down myself near the woods in our backyard, basically. <clears throat> And at first, I was going to make a wood spirit. And you guys already seen my wood spirits that were made by my great uncle. But I wanted to do my own. Well, this is how far I've gotten. Just carved out a spot. Like carved the bark off. And I tried using them wood chisels. I said, I ain't getting nowhere with this. So I said, instead of a wood spirit, why not paint the darn stick into a Christmas theme stick? That sounds like a good idea. So I painted this with an overgrown Christmas tree because I didn't draw the tree branches or anything. So what I ended up doing was uh, doing that and then I painted this part red, painted that part green, blue, brown, green, uh, dark green down here in the bottom. This is a long stick, I'm sorry, but anyway, I did all that. And I said, wait a minute, I got an idea again. And I said, I love the circus and love clowns. And I said, I can make this my clown walker stick. So I didn't have no white at the time. And I painted this sucker right here over again. But instead of uh, white, I used light blue <laughs> for some odd reason. And I used the same light blue down at the bottom of the tip. Instead of brown, it would be light blue down there. And um, added dark purple eyes, nose, and a mouth, and I said, that don't even look like, people don't, might think that's a weird looking stick, but I did it, until finally I said, I gotta repaint this thing again, because I don't like how I did it, so I said, what, what would be a good holiday, Halloween, I said, yes, that's a good idea, so I ended up painting the face first, and I went with a jack-o-lantern, of course, right here, and I painted this part black, purple, orange like fall colors basically like fall Halloween colors kind of did it in a pattern this time so, yeah, that's how long the stick is I'm, I'm gonna grab the tape measure in a little bit and measure it for you sorry how long the stick is but anyway uh, and once I got done with it so in total with the colors I the themes I went with before this theme I must have put at least 15 coats of paint on this thing I'm not kidding because I just went like Painted this section first. I went by section basically. And did you, if you want to ask uh, if I put painter's tape right here to, you know, like mark it off? No, I did it all freehand. So I know that's neat. Anyway, I had to pay attention to what I was doing too. But also, when I got done painting it, I waited a while and then I bought um, a can of that uh, sealant stuff. It was like a clear spray. And I put two coats of that on that on this, so the paint won't be coming off. And I used acrylic paint on this. It dries quicker because I don't think you can use oil paint on this. Oil paint would be just too runny. And I feel like I did a great job on this. But anyway, I uh, made a stick for um, myself. It was the uh, Russian equivalent of Santa, the Grandfather Frost, I call it, stick. Well, I made that and I gave it to uh, my dad's friend's girlfriend. She loved it so much. She said, you can make a whole bunch of these and sell them as like wizard or witch sticks. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Didn't cross my mind, but yeah, people would actually use them for that or cosplay as a wizard, whatever. Or just like a, I don't know, elderly gentleman. <laughs> I mean, or a shepherd. I mean, so what I'm thinking about doing is if I do cut down some more thin trees like this. I might make them into walker sticks again, but as of right now, I ain't planning on doing it. And I was going to do this outside, but it was raining. 
So I said I might as well do it over here inside. So, all right, I'm back. I got the tape measure. So from this end all the way to where this cane tip is at. Now, oh, before I measure it, the cane tip, I couldn't find no cane tip like you get at Walgreens or Walmart. It'll probably fit this, but I might go back and look. But my dad grabbed some of these off of when he was working over at this uh, equipment rental place. And he would grab them off a piece of equipment. It's like electrical stopper things. I don't know the cover up cords. But anyway, it's been working out so far as a cane tip. But I might update that in the future. So let me measure this thing from here. Yeah, this thing measures at 67 inches long. And by golly, it's big. I'm going to I got some other walking sticks I painted, and they're not as big as this one. Now, before I end this video, I will say this. The first time I painted this stick was back in June, I believe, of 2016. And then when I went again to paint it for Halloween, I painted it around September of 2018. So that's how long ago it's been since I uh, painted this thing. So, can you believe it? 15 coats of paint. Is underneath this right here. I just painted over top of the bark. <sighs> but I said maybe if I can find a good strong stick and the bark was starting to peel off, I could probably peel the bark off. But for right now, I like doing this right here. And you could paint over bark sticks too. So yeah, check that out. That is one mean looking jack o' lantern. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe uh, turn on the post notifications this has been another successful installment of the 10 man collects channel and oh before I sign off if you want to paint a walker stick do it you can probably find a bunch of them thin trees that are broken off or that are still attached to the stump you can just cut them off and cut the branches off and you can paint over the bark or come up with your own design. I've been looking up a lot of videos on YouTube that had a bunch of, uh, you know, like parents doing this as a kid activity with their kids. And their designs are pretty neat, actually. Your own unique spin, in other words. So, just thought I'd let you guys uh, know that. Or basically tell you guys that. So... Would I recommend this as a family activity to do? Absolutely. I probably could have done a better jack o' lantern face, but I love the traditional triangle eyed, scary mouth look. But anyway, so yeah, guys, so don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, alright? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, guys.